Hello and welcome to Construction Law Malaysia YouTube channel where you spend three minutes to learn one aspect of construction law. Now it has been said that at the heart of every construction dispute are documents, documents, documents. In other words, the party who wins more often than not is the party who has kept better records and have better documents. Now one recent High Court case demonstrates this fact very amply and that is the case of Pearson Hartman versus Mass Techno Service. At the heart of this dispute was the termination of Pearson Hartman by Mass Techno Service. On 1st October 2019, Mass Techno Service sent a very simple termination notice to Pearson Hartman without providing any reason for the termination. <clears throat> Pearson Hartman objected and in response, on 11th October 2019, which is about 10 days after, Mass Techno Service sent a second termination notice, but this time with all the reasons set out. Now in court, the learned High Court judge had to decide whether the termination was lawful. And to do so, the judge had to consider the termination notice. So the learned judge looked at both the letters of 1st October 2019 and 11 October 19 and decided that the 1st October 2019 letter was effectively a termination notice already. But unfortunately, that termination had no reason at all. It was a termination simpliciter. And the learned judge relied on the federal court case of SPM membrane to say that termination notices must be strictly construed. Therefore, since the 1st October 2019 letter was a termination simpliciter with no reasons attached, it was effectively an unlawful termination. Now, it did not matter to, to, to the judge that a mere 10 days after the first notice, Mass Techno Service did issue a second notice that in fact set out the reasons. It was, in other words, a bit too late, even though just 10 days delayed. So what can we learn from this episode? Mass Techno Service may well have good reasons to terminate Pearson Hartman, but those reasons did not come into play because Mass Techno Service was simply careless in their correspondence. In other words, you cannot take correspondence lightly. Every incident during the course of construction must be recorded and it must be recorded carefully. Because at the end of the day, no judge, no arbitrator, no lawyer knows what are the true facts. All they can do is to try and guess as to what truly happened based on contemporaneous records. And if one party is diligent in recording their version of the events and the other party is somewhat careless in their documents, then it is really just too bad. So remember, Document, document, document. If you fail to do so, you really only have yourself to blame. So until the next time, see you.